Enemy cruiser sunk. Hello, I am Fresh Potato back with another video, and we logged on. We turned the game on early in the morning. Okay, we're going through our usual store stuff, but hey, we get an alert. We finally unlocked the Vermont, right? The Vermont long awaited and now i'm back in the borough i'm dazed and confused it's early in the morning i don't know what i'm doing here i'm just so excited okay but yes let's go and set it up because yes this is again brand new ship um i've been waiting for this ship for a long time been really waiting for this ship i forgot all about it and here we go it took about maybe three months in the borough and it takes a while, you know, it takes a while. So here we go. We got the Vermont. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> okay. It is beautiful, right? It is beautiful. Great ship, I hope. And I think. And maybe this ship, maybe this ship may become my new favorite, right? Maybe. But look at it. Let's let's go ahead. We're gonna set it up. Right now I'm just I'm just in awe, right? I finally unlocked this thing. And yes, so here we go uh we're gonna set up what do we have here we don't have artillery plotting room that's a surprise for me now i could go main battery but all that is gonna do is help my traverse speed but since we are in the age of aircraft carriers i'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the uh, aa right and we're gonna go ahead with our usual speed boost there we're gonna go ahead with the usual con uh concealment mod and here I'm like, okay, uh, let's see. Well, no, did I say artillery plotting room the first time? No, not the artillery plotting room, but that, that one consumable that helps with your dispersion. But this is the artillery plotting room, guys. <laughs> okay, I stand corrected. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to upgrade that. We're going to use steel, unfortunately. I don't like to use steel, but I have to have that mod upgraded on my battleships of course we're going to go ahead with the uh observers observation plane they changed the name guys <laughs> they've changed the name that means they're going to probably try to do something with it but it's now called the observation plane not the spotter plane anymore we're going to add all our boosters uh let's go with our usual veterans day american flag on all my american battleships and for the camo Look at this guy here, the Primortal Annihilator. <laughs> yes, I've accumulated a lot of the Warhammer boxes little by little, and I've gained some of the camo here. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to use that camo, right? And But we want to upgrade it. Okay, this camo right here. We, we want to use this on our um, Vermont, right? Or Vermont, okay? But we want it to get to Legendary, right? So we're going to have to... We're going to have to go ahead and um, melt some of this paint, maybe, which we did. So we got it to level three. Um, so let's see. What will we melt? Maybe this guy from the Golden Week. I don't think I need any more of this. Although I love this camo. Uh, I want to use the Rust Bucket camo for something. But here goes the perfect one. I don't need the St. Patrick Day camo anymore. All right. Now we need some more here. What are we going to do? I guess we're going to have to use some of this guy. Ah, I want, I like this camo. I want to use it on other ships, but we'll just use just enough, right? So we have enough for one more ship, right? <laughs> for its permanent, but we still need more. Let's use this stuff. I don't really like this camo from this update. Too bright for me. Um, and we are now at 292, so we need to melt some more. So... I'm just going to go ahead and use all of this. <laughs> Shame, right? Shame. We'll get some more next golden week, okay? Next year or something like that. But here we go. We got our camo set on our Vermont. And look at this. Look at that. Beautiful. So now we need to get our commander. You know who it's going to be? AL New Jersey, of course. The powerful AL New Jersey. And we are ready to go here. Look at this thing. Beautiful. Beautiful camo here from the Warhammer nonsense, the very expensive Warhammer stuff. So here we go. We're going to go into our first match, right? Our first match in the Vermont, and let's see what we can do. 
And it, yeah, like I said, it took about three months, guys, to unlock this. Any new player out there, you new players, when you enter the borough, just know it's going to take a while. That's the way it is. I, I like it like this because it doesn't give you or give new players a free ship right off the bat. You have to work for these ships, okay? And, and you have to have certain ships to unlock certain ships, right? So I like it. Um, I hope Wargaming never, ever change it, right? But another thing I wanted to talk about was, well, the lack of, of uh, content, right? Not just me, but I've noticed a lack of content um, across the board, right? With other com uh, community contributors or, or um, content creators, um, not a lot of content. Why is that? Ask yourself, guys, why is that? <laughs> is it because of the ridiculous update, right? Is it because of the high prices? Is it because of the aircraft carriers? Is it because of our shells landing short or way off in during this update? Is it because of the crossplay issue that makes you just want to turn the game off? It's so many issues, I don't know. But I, I've noticed that, yes, there is a... A lack of content, right? A lack of World of Warships content during the week. You can't barely find anything, right? <laughs> and just like you guys, I'm a fan of the game, a fan of the content, but hey, there's nothing there. But here we go again. We are in our first game in the Vermont, or the Vermont, right? <laughs> our first game in the Vermont, and we are in Warrior's Path. So we're trying to get to our... Um, position here get into a good position so we can hopefully benefit from some broadsides here so let's see what we can do we're going to go ahead and try to play this island um to our left uh not this one but the little one right here to our left we're going to try to play that one and see what we can do there goes the yamato and the yamato based on the mini map is broadside not what you want to be or where you want to be in a yamato especially um, going against a Vermont. So we're going to go ahead and line up that shot. Let's see what we can do to that Yamato. Hegel's the uh, Sumner, and we need to be wary of that thing. And let's see, our first salvo is a Citadel hit. We hit him pretty good. Could have been better. But that brought us already to 32,000 damage. Remember, the Vermont gun's very, very powerful. It has that same guns as the Ohio and the Georgia, right? So these are some very, very powerful guns. That's why Wargaming decided to give this thing a very long reload. But like I said, or like, I've, like I'm trying to say is, the long reload, the slowness, well, <laughs> it, it fits me. It fits my play style, right? I am a very, very patient player, right? I don't take any shot. I wait to set up shots like this. Unfortunately, he goes dark. Right? Why does the game always do that? Ships always go dark when they're right about to turn broadside. But here goes the Stalingrad. But like I said, the Vermont actually fits my play style because I'm patient. I don't mind the slow reload. I don't mind the slow movement, the long radius of turn. But look at this Stalingrad. Unfortunately, he has to turn broadside to avoid those torpedoes. But he gives me what I want. Ooh. <laughs> we send that Stalingrad straight to the sh uh, Shadow Realm. Oh, I messed up there. That's first. <laughs> Let's do that over. We send that Stalingrad straight to the Shadow Realm with a death strike. <laughs> Bring us to one, for, uh, one kill in the game. We're already at 72,000 damage. Here comes the Z-35. And like I said, this ship is so slow, it actually fits my play style, right? <laughs> what does that say about me, right? <laughs> I'm slow. <laughs> old and slow, right? <laughs> I'm not old. Alright. <laughs> Here goes the Z-52. We're going to line him up. And can we hit him pretty good? No. <laughs> we missed everything. Our shells fall short. He did a good job dodging that. So we want to get moving forward again. We know what's possibly coming. And that is the torpedoes. Also, we are broadside to Yamato. We don't want that. Right? But that 
your motto is also broadside to us, right? And we know we can cause a lot of damage on that thing if we can get a good salvo. So we're waiting for our reload to be up. We're trying to line them up. And then he goes dark. What did I just say? <laughs> what did I just say? You know, Wargaming makes it to where it happens like that. These ships go dark right at the wrong moment, right? But here he is. He's lit up again. Now I'm going to rush the shot because I don't want him to go dark again, which he just did. Okay, so let's see what we can do with a rush shot, right? A rushed shot. We hit him again in the Citadel. That brought us to 115,000 damage. We hit him with six shells. So that, that hit him pretty good. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we caused enough or significant damage to where our teammates can easily clean it up, right? But here we go. Now we're being bombarded by that Z-52. So we want to turn back around, use this island as a... Um, shield against his torpedoes and hopefully we will do that but again vermont very very slow ship right very slow ship but hey again it fits my sniper uh play style and i like it <laughs> i like it some people may hate this thing uh it is called the brick and now I know why <laughs> it's like I'm a floating brick. It really is. And bad enough, my my camo <laughs> makes it worse, right? It almost looks like a brick when it's burning. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is. I like this ship. I, I ain't going to lie. I like this ship. It does what I need it to do. Is it as good as the Colombo? Probably not. But the Vermont fits my play style better than the Colombo, believe it or not. But the Colombo is a better battleship. For now, until Wargaming goes ahead and nerfs it, right? They're going to nerf it. <laughs> you know it's coming. They're going to nerf it because why? It works. <laughs> you, you, you can't have battleships that actually work in this game. It's a sin, right? It go, it's against the law to have a battleship that actually works in World of Warships Legends. If it works, they will nerf it, right? Soon, the Atlantico. <laughs> you better not, Wargamer. Oh, you better not. Do not touch the Atlantico. As our friend is sent to the Shadow Realm selling broadside like that in front of smoke. You don't want to sell broadside in front of smoke. When you see smoke, pretend it's a battleship, right? You'll get Citadel, right? But in that case, you'll get torqued. So when you see smoke, you want, might want to adjust, either turn your nose towards it or your or the or your tail, right? What is a good name? Stern? Is it Stern? Hmm. Huh. There'll, there, there'll be a hot shot that corrects me, right? Where is where is my hot shots? Okay. <laughs> Potato hot shots. Somebody knows what that's called. The aft? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> is it just stop trying man but here we go we're trying to get away from all this nonsense we're trying to get away from all the destroyers here we know we are abandoning our side but we didn't we did try to fight for it we didn't abandon it right off the bat we tried but it we failed right our side has collapsed it is overran so now we need to get out of here and get to the rest of our buddies here that way we can regroup right <laughs> regroup but here goes, excuse me, here goes the St. Louis. We're going to go ahead and line up that St. Louis. The, Z, the Z-52 managed to sail across the map all the way back this way. And did we lead that good enough? Mm, no, we didn't. We got seven overpins, right? Seven overpins. And that's the life of a battleship main, right? You can have good salvos, but doesn't mean it's going to it's gonna work, right? That's the curse of the battleships the way Wargaming has made it. They they don't want us to work, right? They make it very difficult for us. But here we go. Here goes the St. Louis. The St. Louis turning somewhat broadside. I don't know where to place that shot, but hey, he is sent to the Shadow Realm by our teammates, which is good. So we're going to go ahead and ripple fire this Sumner. And sometimes you got to let the ripple fire fly, right? You got you to gotta ripple, ripple fire it sometimes, hoping you'll get a hit. We did not get a hit. <laughs> Hopefully those torps do. No. 
<laughs> Sumner is a very agile guy here. He's very agile. So we're going to try to line him up again after our long reload. Okay, come on, guys. Do your job and hurry up. Reload these guns. And, hmm. We want to turn. Get, we want to get all, our, get all our turrets involved there. There it is. Uh, we've got to line them up pretty good. Pretty good. We're going to take it there. I like the sound of these guns, by the way. The Vermont gun sounds pretty good. It almost sounds like the Yamato. And, <laughs> yes, confirmed penetration, right? <laughs> we got him pretty good, but, hey, that Yamato just hit us pretty hard there. We, I forgot that that thing was even over here. <laughs> That is some potato nonsense combined with not paying attention to the minimap, right? Some potato nonsense going on here. But hey, we're going to go ahead and we're going to line up this superstructure. And look at this shot, guys. Look at this shot. Look at those shells. Beautiful dispersion and shell grouping. And yes, <laughs> that is some nice work as we send that Yamato uh, straight. To the shadow realm that's the second kill of the game we are at 150,000 damage in literally our first game in the vermont right first game in the vermont or vermount and boy does it feel good right it feels good so now we're gonna go ahead and try to swing it back in we know there's one more ship left and maybe we can get some um some good shots on that as well right i think it's the montana but hey do you guys have the vermont how do you like it? <laughs> slow, isn't it? <laughs> Old and slow. <laughs> it's really, really slow. The, 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 the reload is very, very long. But boy, does, does these guns slap, right? These guns hit really, really hard when you can line them up the right way. Either a superstructure hit or especially a citadel hit. And yeah, wait till I get Arthas. When I can afford them, right? Wait, wait till I'm able to sell one of my kidneys. When I'm able to sell a kidney and come back and buy Arthas, you guys will all see, right? <laughs> You'll all see. Ah, <laughs> uh, God, speaking of kidney, I need to drink more water. Keep it in tip-top shape. That way I can get good money for it, you know, <laughs> in order to buy things in this game. But anyway, here goes the Montana. We're going to light him up. We're trying to uh, pad our... Uh, or damage, right? It's all about getting the good damage when you're in a battleship. Get the big damage. That means you're doing your job, right? Doing your job. So I'm going to try to stop and maybe reverse here whenever I can. Uh, maybe in the next two to four years when uh, the Vermont decides to reverse, we can line up some really good shots. Hopefully this Montana turns broadside, right? We don't. I don't think it will. I don't think it will. So I'm just holding, being patient here. Hoping that he turns broadside, it would be nice, but no. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and take this shot. Maybe we can get him into superstructure. We gotta keep in mind Montana's has pretty good armor, and eh, we'll take that. It gave us a high caliber, brought us to 168,000 damage, and yeah, let's see if we can get another one here with this long reload. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And man, do I like? I really like this ship. I really, really like this ship. Um, it's very, very accurate. Maybe I'm hoping it's not the new ship RNG, right? <laughs> you get that new ship and the RNG is really good only for it to <laughs> go away the next week. But here goes, look at that salvo. Look at that grouping. And of course, yes, we have to get the kill there. <laughs> and we send that Montana straight to the Shadow Realm with the third and final kill of the game. Yes, the Vermont, guys. The Vermont, very, very, very accurate ship so far. Okay, like I said, I don't know how it's going to feel next week. <laughs> Wargaming and its uh, inconsistencies, right? But we finished with 170,000 damage there. We got those three kills. We are top of the leaderboard in base XP with 2848. Yes. 2848, we almost got that 3,000 base XP in our first game in the Vermont. First game. I knew, I knew I was going to be, I was going to do good in this ship. I knew it. <laughs> okay. I knew this was going to be a fresh potato ship, right? A old uh, sniper type of thing, uh, deal. 
But Heckles to set up. We got, of course, Ale, New Jersey. She's on 99.9% of my American battleships. And yes, she is built for accuracy and damage. Well, mainly accuracy. Uh, later on, I'm going to probably switch out um, Al. Um, wow. That's pretty good. But anyway, <laughs> we might switch out uh, Al Yamato for Ciliax. But yeah, that's later on down the line. But hey, again, how do you guys like this camo? It is the Warhammer camo. And yes, we accumulated some of these boxes or some of those crates gambling, right? <laughs> the way Wargaming wants it. They want us to gamble and yes, yeah, spend all our money that way maybe, I guess. But I like this camo, like that circle thing right there. What is that? <laughs> but it's in the right spot. <laughs> but hey... Tell me, guys, tell me what you guys think. Do you have the Yamato? I mean, Yamato. The Vermont. <laughs> Do you like how it feels? Is it too slow for you? Long reload? <laughs> but hey, for me, I really, really, really like this ship. Finally unlocked. But thank you. Tell me what you think. And thanks for watching. Enemy cruiser sunk.